uh, how are you hope all are fine today's topic is the valve qc inspection and testing how you will do the valve inspection and what is the procedure at which standard you have to follow so let we'll discuss uh, here you see the left side it is the ball valve and the right side this is the plug valve so you have to know which standard we have to follow this type of valve inspection API 60 standard provides specific inspection items to be performed on all ball plug valve check valve and the gate valve so API 60 you can follow for this all types of valve ball valve check valve plug valve and the gate valve so now we need to know the valve range which valve range you have to cover the api 60 is cover which valve range like you have to, you can see here type it is for the type is the floating and the tenion valve and the lubricated valve plug so ball valve and the plug valve there is two types one is the floating floating another is the tonion what, what, what is the difference between the floating and the tenion? The floating ball valve is suitable for medium or low pressure and usually has a small diameter display. And the tenion ball valve is a kind of double block and bleed valve. While, while the floating ball valve only seal the downstream side, they can seal only the down, downstream side, but the tenion ball valve it can block in the upstream and the downstream is the both so you understand now floating and the tunion ball valve now body split body two piece and three piece and top entry this is the range of range material which type of material can cover this one cast and forge carbon steel stainless steel alloy steel and the doppler steel pressure rating which are uh, which type of pressure rating are there which are the class class 150 300 600 900 and 1500 class is covered for this api 60 now board dia which how much board dia is covered in ps1 to 24 inch full cover full board in ps3 to 24 it is a reduced board also cover for this api 50. now you have to know this very clearly wall wall parts so before you start the any inspection for the ball valve or plug valve you should know the body item part you can easily understand serial number is mentioned 1 to 1 to 15 what is body what is feed what is ball disc gasket stud knot cover and body o-ring washer packing guide client flange screw and stem this is the items are there you you need to know which are the which item serial number one is mentioned clearly here this is the body two is seat so you have to know all the part what are the names are there for the particular parts now you can see here that one of the example is there how it looks like is the ball valve you can see here looks like how it looks like this is very clear example is here the ball valve how is working you see how is the plug bulb design same as the ball bulb how it looks like and what is the items is there one is the lubricated lubricant screw two is the indicated three is the client nuts four is the client five is the client parking six is the packing ring you can understand the packing ring seven is the hair lubricant duct eight is the plug nine is the check bulb ten is the stove eleven is the cover twelve is the seam thirteen is the gasket fourteen is the body and fifteen is the lubricant in grooves and sixteen is the lubricant chamber so these are the one to sixteen is all items is mentioned clearly what are the names of this particular parts now give the one uh, uh picture you see here how it looks like in the plug valve how it looks like how it's working it's very clear here you understand easily you understand this is how it looks like how it is plugged the total entire um, uh, liquid and then it's open you can understand easily now 
now applicable code and standard before you start the inspection you should know, know very well what are the applicable codes and standards are there for particular inspection for APS 60 if you go the valve design you have to need to know APS 60 as in the 16.34 APS 607 and APS 608 what are face to face dimension you need to check so what you have to follow and see B16.10 you have to follow for this face to face dimension in flange dimension for SME 16.5 B16.5 you need to follow for this one in flange dimension inspection and test definitely you have to check as per API 60 non destructive examination definitely it's mentioned as may be 16.34 if required on purchase order is different standard is requirement then we have to follow the as per the purchase order so what are the radiography examination we have to do radiography uh, non destructive examination what to do radiography examination liquid penetration examination magnetic particle examination ultrasonic examination so this four examination it's including the non destructive examination you should follow for this all this entity or uh, entity testing particular on this valve we need to do inspection item after applicable and code and standard you need to know that what will be the inspect for a particular valve before you start the inspection so what are the inspection items are there Inspection items that follows like this Material test you have to do first is the material test for the raw material you have to test for this one Second is visual inspection you have to do the visual inspection As a step by step I am telling to you you have to do like this way if you have any you are doing any valve inspection or if you are working at site valve is came to site and you need to check the every inspection report it should be mentioned all this um, inspection should be there material test then the visual inspection then dimensional check then assembly performance test this, then pressure test this is one by one very clear is here Hydro in pressure test there is three types of test is there hydrostatic tail test second is high pressure valve closure test third is low pressure valve closure test so these three tests will be come in the pressure test and last is the final inspection An entity if required if it is mentioned in the purchase order any separate and supplementary essential then we can do in and we can do and so this is the inspection item you have to follow material test visual inspection then dimensional check then assembly performance test then pressure test then final inspection then ND this is the test you have to inspection you have to follow for this particular items now material test we go one by one is the material test what to do in material test the materials of the body body cap wall and steam shall be confirmed meet the respective material specifications on the basis of respective mill certificate so what do you mean the materials of the body body cap whatever in the parts in for, for particular for valve preparation valve manufacturing like body body cap wall and steam that material should be match the all chemical or mechanical properties as per the material specification so that mill certificate we need to check as per the material specification it meets or not so this is the material test we need to check check before the start any other activity now visual inspection we go to after material test we need to go the for visual inspection what to do in visual inspection check visually that what to do in check visually it is very clear here casting surface both the exterior and interior are free from holes bars scale cracks 
etc in accordance with MSS SP55. This is very important. In accordance with MSS SP55, you have to check the casting surface visual. It should be free from holes, bar scale and cracks. Second, what, to, what we need to check? The missing faces and all surfaces are free from flaws and unevenness on finished surface. There should not be any flaws or unevenness in the missing surface. This is the visual checking. Third, what to check? The fluid passage is finished appropriately and free from foreign debris. The fluid passage, where, where the fluid is going in the fluid passage there should be finished properly the machining should be there in properly and free from any foreign debris should not be there in the passage of fluid now is the fourth is angles and corners the dimension of which are no specified in the drawing and standard are chamfer and rounded appropriately so why we need to chamfer and round it if it is mentioned not angle or angle and corner if there is any angle or corner is there and it is not mentioned in the drawing that it should be chamfer or rounded but we have to do standard we have to do chamfer and rounded appropriately because there is so many reasons are there in the chamfer or if it is not doing the chamfer or rounded in the stress generation or stress can be developed then it can be in different things will be happen so definitely we need to do angles and corners or dimension it should be chamfers and rounded now you see the visual inspection the next page the nominal pressure, nominal diameter, and other necessary information should be properly. So you need to check also nominal pressure, nominal diameter, and other necessary information should be there at the time of visual checking. So all things should be there by hand. So all information indicated on the body surface and the level means nominal pressure, nominal diameter, other necessary information. It should be mentioned in the body surface and the level. Body surface, valve body surface and the level. We have to mention all these things. The flow direction shall be properly indicated when restricted. So flow direction, you have to properly indicate it should be there. Which flow direction, in which direction it will be there when restricted. Bore should be unobstructed when valve is in full open position. So board should be unobstructed. Board there should be any obstruction should be not be there when valve is open position. It should be unobstructed. So visual inspection is finished. First is go material, then it's come it's uh, uh, finish the visual inspection. Next, what will be the done? Dimensional. We need to go for dimensional check. Material finished. The I check the material is okay. We check the visually the material every parts are okay now we'll go for dimensional check dimension shall be checked in according with the drawings and specified value so how we'll check the dimension dimension we need to check from the drawing and in the drawing it's mentioned what are the values are there and it's match should be it it should be matched with the uh, your valve dimension the dimensional tolerance of plane shall be specified in ASME B16.5. It is clearly mentioned the dimensional tolerance what will be there in the ASME B16.5. And for bar to well end to NC B16.25. So if it is bar to well end, then it is mentioned in B16.25. The tolerance of the face to face dimension shall be in accordance with API 6D table 1. So table one should be there in the below i am just telling to you how face to face dimension shall be dimension tolerance for face to face for it is mentioned api 6d table one you see here the table one face to face dimensional tolerance unit in mm you can see here face to face dimensional tolerance unit mm if it is diameter of the valve 10 less than 10 mm so dimensional tolerance is plus minus 2 mm 
if it is diamond diameter of the bulb is 12 to 24 inch it is dimensional tolerance is plus minus 3 mm so this is the dimensional tolerance for api CCD table 1 so we finish the dimensional what will finish first is material then is visual then dimensional all finished now we have to check for torquing test assembly how we have to assemble the when you are assembling what to do the torque should be there so when you are assembling means in the nut bolt there should be torquing so the valve operating torque shall be determined prior to pressure test without load and in dry condition so operating torque you should do uh, before you are doing the torque so determine prior to pressure test without load or any dry condition it should be the operating torque shall be within the specification and standard so torque shall be as per the specification and standard it should be mentioned in the procedure both the direction of the hole in the bulb and the two faces of the steam of the flow direction indication at the steam top shall coincide each other so direction should be there should be one uh, direction should be there in which direction you have to do the torque it should be both the direction of the whole of the ball two faces of the steam in flow direction so it should be always the flow direction condition when you are doing the torque uh, on the ball valve So this is torquing assembly torquing finish now what to do now is very important is pressure test after finish the assembly check the visual you check the material test everything is finished now we have to do the pressure test so before do the pressure test you know, need to know what are the pressure requirement so testing requirement what are hydrostatic steel test high pressure closure test and high pressure closure test gas one is hydrostatic so this is for wall and plug valve yes 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 so these three tests we need to do for this ball valve and the plug valve now you can see here the hydrostatic cell test what to do in hydrostatic cell test what will be the inspected with the valve kept half open fill the body with water and apply test pressure shown in table 2 so table 2 will show no problem in the second page with the valve keep half open so we have to keep the valve half open then fill the body with water we have to fill the body with full water and apply test pressure so after that we have to apply the test pressure make sure that the connection are tight then use leak detector spray on all body joints and body surfaces to ensure zero leakage and all parts are free from leakage so definitely you have to need to know that before the pressure test connection are very tight and you have to use the leak detector spray should be there so check the any body joint or body surface should not be any leakage should be there and at this time the test duration shall be as shown in table 3 so table 2 and table 3 is very important we need to check for test pressure what is this and the test duration for stainless steel it is also very important you need to know for stainless steel and the double stainless steel valve the chloride content of test water shall not exceed 30 parts per million by mass so it should not be chloride content should not be more than the 30 ppm for stainless steel and the double stainless steel valve now you can see here table 2 and table 3 cell test this is unit is mpa 150 300 600 900 and 1500 this is five types of classes there this is the different types of material for sale you can see here wcb a 105n lcb lf2 cf8 so this is the different types of material if you go 150 cl uh, uh, class then it is 3.14 mpa if it is 300 class it is 7.58 mpa if it is 600 class it is 115.4 mpa and 900 class 23.14 mpa and 1500 class is 38.44 mpa so this is the requirement for 
cell test requirement. What is the test duration should be there? If it is half inch to four inch, so test duration is two minute. Hydrostatic cell test, high pressure valve closure test is two minute, and the low pressure valve closure test also two minute. If it is more than twenty inch, it is hydrostatic cell test is thirty, and high pressure valve closure test is five minute, and the low pressure valve closure test is the five minute. So this chart is very important for cell test and the test duration. Now high pressure valve feed test. We need to check the high pressure valve feed test. So what to check? With the valve closed fully, you have to close the valve fully. Test in both direction. We have to check uh, test in both direction. One direction at a time in pressure given in table 4.1. Use leak detector spray to entire area to ensure zero leakage. So you have to closely fully the both direction closed fully then we have to test in both direction one direction it is mentioned in the pressure where what what pressure we have to give then you have to use the leak detector spray there and you can check there there is no leakage then it is okay if it is leakage is there then you have to find out the why leakage is coming the test duration shall be as shown in table 3. It's already in the previous page. Table 2 and table 3 test duration should be there. It is there. Note for stainless steel and the double stainless steel always the chloride content the test water shall not be exit 30 ppm by mass. This is very important. Now you can see here table 4.1. All valves APA 650. This is the one direction half inch to 24 inch 150. This is MPA, which what is the pressure requirement? 2.26, 5.79, 600 pound. 600 class is 11.46, 900 class is 17.16, 1500 class is 28.54, and 2562.1. So this is the pressure requirement for, you can see here, one direction at a time at pressure given in table 4.1, it is mentioned here. So this is high pressure valve seat test, how we have to do and what is the requirement. Now is the low pressure valve feed test. What is this? By gas, you have to do by gas this one. With the valve close fully, the test in both direction, one direction at a time at pressure of 0.6 MAPG. Okay, then valve we have to full closely, then both direction, one direction you have to at a pressure you have to give 0.6 MPG. Use leak detector spray in to enter seal area to ensure there should not be any leakage means zero leakage should be there leak detector detector spray to be spread in the seal area enter seal area the test duration shall be as shown in table 3 is already mentioned in the previous page so this is low pressure valve feed test by gas we have to do by this way now is acceptance criteria closure test so acceptance criteria of closure test when you are doing closure test what will be the acceptance criteria what is the acceptance criteria as far as 2508 if it is sit leakage rate it should be zero there should not be any leakage if it is leakage it is rejected if it is metal seated then it should it it more than or equal to zero one mm one mm mq sxdn sxdn d if it is more than this leakage rate then it is rejected so active acceptance is soft seated is zero and the metal seated is greater than or equal to zero one mm after that everything you finish the pressure test after pressure testing what you have to do you finish the all pressure test you done and you, you check the everything is satisfactory so after that you have to do very important this one the test water is to be entirely evacuated from all bore the water should be entirely evacuated so there should not be any water in the valve bore second is 
For carbon steel valve, the interior of the valve is to be sprayed or coated with rust preventive. So carbon steel valve, the interior of the valve, interior of the valve with the inside of the valve means interior of the valve there should be spray or coated with rust preventive. Rust preventive coated should be there so there should not be any rust in future. Oil to prevent rust and corrosion during transit and storage. So the rust preventive oil should be there means it is the continuation that is happen it is uh, dots is here so what will happen how it is written here for carbon steel valve the interior of the valve is to be spread means interior part you have to spread what will be the spread rust preventive oil should be spread of the interior area why to prevent rust and corrosion during transit and storage whenever storage in storage the valve and transit area if there is a corrosion should not be there so in that case we have to uh, spread the rust preventive oil there last is the final inspection you finish everything so you have after pressure testing you are doing the rust preventive oil in the interior area so interior area everything finish your tight uh, bolt is already tightened everything is done so you have to go now the final inspection what to do in final inspection paint check you have to do the paint check painting the paint check shall be made after the above mentioned test have been completed so paint we have to check only the above all test you have completed all step you have completed then one then you can do the painting check check that finish coat is free from peeling unevenness and blistering so finish coat there should not be any peeling there should not be any unevenness and the blistering specification and color hall b in the accordance with the customer specification unless otherwise specified it shall be in according as per standard so specification and color it should be as per the customer requirement or customer specification. If it is not mentioned in the customer specification, so you have to go the as per standard. Ensure that all marking and tagging and correct. So you have to finish your paint is finished. You have check the DFT, everything is done. Then you have to check the your marking and tagging so marking and tagging you have to check as per the project requirement what are the requirement is mentioned in the PO what is the marking how to do how to write everything is mentioned in the PO or as per the specification body finish of casting forging to be physically inspected in accordance with MSS SP55 so body finish of casting and forging definitely we need to check by physically so you finish this one final inspection everything done now this is one clause is there non-destructive examination supplementary examination means if client did client need any non-destructive examination requirement special requirement then we have to do in the supplementary examination what to do supplementary types of non-destructive examination are required only if specified in the purchase order so if it is mentioned in the purchase order that we need to do the NDT examination then only the need to do any extra NDT requirement otherwise no need magnetic particle radiography liquid penetrant and ultrasonic examination of steel casting or forging shall be in accordance with specification in client purchase order so whatever you are doing magnetic particle radiography liquid penetrant so you have to do the as per the client purchase order or specification so these are the all from the beginning is a very important those are working in valve inspection or those are definitely as a working is qaqc engineer in oil and gas pipeline piping industry these are the step from the beginning to end you have to do the inspection each step wise so i think you got my all points clearly
I hope you understand the inspection requirement as per the API 60D. If you still not understand and if you have any concern, you can uh, freely just send a message in the YouTube box and I can explain to you very clearly. So, and those people still not subscribe my channel, you can subscribe it and, and you can see it to your friends, then they can help form this channel. Thanks a lot. Uh, again, for watching my videos that don't forget to subscribe my channel please comment like and subscribe it thanks a lot again